in this module we will talk more about the type of the variable okay and how do we change the type of the variable within the certain context without actually affecting the type of the variable which was going on it may sound kind of strange but i will help you understand and this help will be through example so what we will be covering in this module is on your slide changing type by casting so this is a new concept in which the type of the variable is changed and then we'll talk about the operators and expressions how many operators are there what are the different types of operators and of course this will be explained using examples so let's go ahead so why do you would like to change the type of the variable you do this using the casting command the variable remains unchanged unaffected so in a certain context we change the type of the variable but the actual type of the variable will not change it it remains the same as per the value assigned to it and why do we do it this is for the security reasons okay and the other reason is that when we are passing the values right between say pages or between parameters or between functions then we should be passing that value using type casting which is expected at the other end so over here we have so how do we go about it we write it before the actual value we write it before the actual value so this is basically the value and this is type casting this is over here is type casting this is type casting okay and of course you can type cast it can you can make it boolean you can make it a uh, object array and so on so let's look at this example over here so i set the value of this test variable to be 8.23 okay and it displays echo dollar test point and it echoes 8.23 now what i do over here is that i do type casting by writing this type before 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 the variable before the variable okay and it is returned as a string then i convert it to integer now the point to remember is that the variable was actually declared as a float it was declared as a float but by using type casting i make it a string i make it an integer and i again make it a float okay and then as i have explained before that i can convert into a boolean and it returns a value of true over here so you see that we can do type casting to achieve these objectives okay and how do we do this we do this using this approach all right so now we'll talk more about some important aspects over here uh which are explained on the screen for example what is an operator what is an expression and what are operands so an operator is something which comes or which is used to change or manipulate the contents of the variables so over here this is the operator this is the operator so what is an expression an expression is something which is evaluated so all of this is an expression okay so we have this variables over here we have this variables over here and we have this operator over here okay and collectively this is called as an expression and what are the operands operands are values and variables which are used with the this so these are the operands so these are the operands which are used with the operator so i believe now you understand operator expression and operands so what are the operator types so we have over here you can you can count them so we have about we have 10 different operator types in php 
operator types in PHP. Okay, and their arithmetic, their assignment, their bitwise compression, comparison, and you can see their logical string and array type. So there's a uh, about ten different types of operators which are used in PHP. Okay, now let's go into more detail. Let's look at arithmetic operators. The operation of the arithmetic operators is just like the standard ones. So we have addition, addition performed, subtraction, multiplication, division, and of course modulus is the remainder. It is the remainder. So this is simply is very clear, is not confusing. So how do we combine them? We can combine them, assignment and you can combine them together. So what? So for example, over here I set the value of this operator, okay, using this okay assignment operator to 8.23, and then simultaneously this value is assigned to this and this also, and I can combine them, and this becomes the shorthand. Becomes the shorthand, okay. Similarly, this is the concatenation operator which combines the strings. Combines the strings, and this helps us to create a shorthand. And then finally, are the bitwise operators which uh, act on the bits. For example, over here, this is the logical and over here. Okay, this is the and over here. This is or over here, and over here the not. It is the two's complement. Okay, this is the two's complement. Two's complement is you can you inverse plus add one and this is the result. This is how you get the negative. So that's all I have for this module. Thank you for your time.